Okay, so any questions? <laughs> I think when you see the wave pattern, that's where the, in, in the brain's activity starts. But there's always a latency between the brain pattern and my action. That's always there. So just because I press a button doesn't mean that that's where my consciousness is. No, no, no. What is monitor is conscious center of the brain. Hmm. <laughs> so that's where the neuro now now earlier this was not possible about twenty years back. Yes, now you are able to put the probe to the part of the brain. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the consciousness center conscious center gets lights up. So the lag of uh, thinking and ha doing and all those things is no no longer relevant now with the advanced. Uh, Brain probing, mapping, guy. mapping process. Mapping. <laughs> this was not possible about 20 years back. Mm. Now, more and more people have experienced the return, they have uh, repeated the experiment, they have come out with the same conclusions. So, the, the thing happens before you <coughs> think that is happening. So what's the practical implication then when you say something wrong, <laughs> so it wasn't a free thing, so why is it See, this has very fundamental questions on ethics, human behavior, societal behavior, and all those things. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> then why do you worry about right and wrong when you things are not in their controls? <laughs> but does everybody worry about right and wrong about things under, under control? And even why I should worry when I see something? You like should worry because you are supposed to worry. That's why you are worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is not worrying because he is not supposed to worry. <laughs> see, there is one uh, teacher of Advaita called Balsekar. He says it uh, very nicely. I mean, uh, I mean, very uh, that uh, this thing. All of us are nothing but programmed behavior beings. So we behave with the whatever program we are given. Somebody called Einstein was programmed to discover <laughs> the theory of relativity. He discovered it. <laughs> you are programmed to become a doctor. You have become a doctor. Simplistic way of. Simplistic way of. Can the programming be changed? Or <laughs> <laughs> you can get out of the program. That's what this class that's is about. All, that's all. Okay. Now, when we get out of the programming. Huh. Uh, we will come to know thought is coming. Not me. I, I you are discarding <laughs> the machine. <laughs> uh, not me. You are discarding the machine. Okay. Will not come there. No, it is not relevant to you because the complex which is generating the body mind complex, the computer which is generating it, you are not, uh, not saying it's not. I'm not. It is not me. It is generating. So that's why an enlightened being continues to live and teach <coughs> for the outer world. For him, he is not teaching. <laughs> and that's what. Now, whatever uh, that enlightened being does is again programming, but he is not doing. He is not the doer. Right now, you are also not doer, but you are associating yourself with doing. <laughs> but again, if enlightened also, there is no choice. In changing the programming. No, the, you have only choice either to associate with the body and mind complex or not to associate with body and mind complex. Things will be same irrespective of what you choose. But it can't be changed. <laughs> it, it is what is happening. It is happening what is in the universe of consciousness. Now please tell me what is morality, what is social ethics and all those things in this. It doesn't mean anything. Yet. It doesn't mean anything. Somebody has realized this. But as long as your sense of ownership and doership, you will be hurt by your actions. But then, you know, like <coughs> when, the, when you see the obvious killing, torture or something, how can anybody say it's all programmed? No, that's what I'm saying. That, yeah. See, the, the question is, what is happening in the world? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us say there is a terrorist, right? Actually, I have a friend in a, a doctor. A, 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 one of my cousins is a, a top uh, neurologist, uh, a psychiatrist. When this uh, killing happened in uh, 
Bombay, no? the uh, terrorist attack, the Kazab was caught. I asked him, did this person have a choice not to become a terrorist? From your point of view, no. <laughs> <laughs> From doctor's point of view, also, is no. <laughs> What he says that criminal, ultimately whatever you are, is nothing but some criminal gene getting activated. Right? Tendency to the kill without uh, this thing, criminal gene getting activated. Now criminal gene getting activated, the gene is there in everybody. The genetic structure is same. Whether it's a, there's a propensity to get activated, not get activated. Right? For example, all of us have the cancer cells. It's like other cells are going away. So everybody has a propensity to get cancer, the tendency to get cancer, but cancer gets activated in some beings. Correct? So everybody has a criminal tendency. The criminal propensity is there because the genetic, genetic genes, one gene going this way, that way it makes a difference. Now that uh, fellow, did he have a control over that gene? For that matter, many of psychiatric patients, did they have a control over their genetic structure so that they could uh, prevent? Who wants to suffer? There is a hitch there that I will tell you. <laughs> what is a hitch there? <laughs> there is your nervous system activity builds up. Okay. About 200 milliseconds before, your conscious mind comes to know of that decision. Before the decision has the decision, the signals have gone. The conscious mind comes to know that of the decision 200 milliseconds before. So before the selectical signals, huh. conscious is aware of it. A conscious okay. becomes aware of that. Now the conscious mind has a vetoing power to stop it, but he has no. The decision is taken. You may at last moment you can withdraw the decision. <laughs> but same as will there, so there is a will. The will is a positive will or a will to stop. You understand what I'm saying? The will to choose or will to stop. Not to change. So what happens is that many of the people who are psychotic or many of the people who have, a, have their life for this thing, no? they go along with the what has come, comes from inside. As you become more and more aware, you stop the unwanted dishes happening. The awareness is, the threshold of awareness gets shifted. For most of the people, the threshold of awareness is very low. So they get angry, they get uh, the fear, right? So the threshold of awareness is low. So that's what happens to most of the human beings and in a sense, they live as a programmed life. A spiritual evolution means your threshold of awareness becomes higher you may not you may not you may not choose action but you may prevent action which are not holistic that's the that's what some people have interpreted from dessert it is not that is the confusion i don't know so basically what we are saying is awareness is something that you cannot at least by now the technically you cannot register what you are registering is just the electrical signal, thought activity, electron or whatever. Awareness you cannot register. But you awareness you don't register. That's why. You can register the conscious part of the brain which awareness acts on. That is yeah. a, a post activity, not pre. Yeah, not the primary awareness. So what you are saying is that awareness is there with you but if you can develop it, then you have the free will too. That's what meditation is about. That's what spirituality is about. So coming out of your program, the behavior is called spirituality. That's what I was telling. When I'm aware that a thought is coming, so I have to do. So there I have my will whether I have to act or not. Not. The not acting, see, I mean, in a, in a sense, let's say. I mean, let me take uh, some a little bit uh, back, uh, you know. What you are today, okay. 98 or 99% of you is your genetic structure. What is the capacity of your brain? What is the skin color? What is the eye color? What is the disease you are getting? Hmm? 
is nothing but 98 percent more than 98 percent is genetic structure correct so how much choice, choice do you have on that so what do you think you think that i am a good being to think that good being you need to have some nervous system no and some part of the genes have to be activated did you have a choice on that okay i mean i would say should say 100 percent of what you are today is genetic structure that gives you two percent uh, <laughs> 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 i'm still giving some some scope for you <laughs> Right? You imagine your nervous system has a little bit uh, di some different structure, no? So then you cannot think like this, right? Okay. So your nervous system was not your choice. Your body was not your choice. So consequently, the thoughts which come into your head also is not your choice. Coming to spirituality, the causal body and subtle body chooses the cross body. <laughs> Okay. English okay na? Oh, So, when you are born, your nervous system is, I mean, I will say, is given to you. Okay. Now, all your life, the type of disease you go through, the suffering you have to go through, happiness you go through, or joy you go through, or criminal tendency you develop, cancer you develop is already given to you. The machine is given to you. Okay. Now suppose you are support, separate from the machine and you are a user of the machine, then you can have a choice over the machine. But you are a, you are a machine itself. You are inside the machine. <laughs> right? Then another another of this thing is uh, from a prenatal stage of six months, uh, six six months prenatal, child is womb, to the four years when the child is four years. The neuronal connection in the brain grows very fast. Neuronal connections happens, right? They, because the nervous system is learning. So, about fifty percent of your basic structure of neuronal connections is happened by the age of four. Do you agree with that? So that means fifty percent of your tendencies of your life, basic tendency of your life, either anger, emotions, and all, are formed before the age of four. You didn't choose it. Right? Who chose it for you at that time? You learned from your family, father, mother, grandparents and TV. You picked up that. Correct? But at the age of 4 and 10, neuronal connections, another 40% another 40, another, uh, another 40 of neuronal connections happened. The basic structures, skills is separate. Correct? So how much percentage of your neuronal structure got fixed by the age of uh, 10? 90 percent correct the machine is fixed before your birth the program of the machine is fixed by age of 10 okay then what happened then between the age of four, 4 and 10 who influenced you most friends mostly friends <coughs> right then school teachers media right these three influenced you didn't have a choice on that by the age of 10, how much you learned? 90% of your basic structure is formed. Between the age of 10 and 18, another 10% gets formed, the basic neuronal structure. We are not speaking of skills, language skills and additional skills. We are speaking of your emotional and basic uh, thought pattern skills. By the age of 18, another 10% is formed. Okay. Between the age of 10 and 18, who influences you most? The boy and girl are becoming sexually mature. Okay, the hormones, there are different kinds of hormones which are generated inside. Now they gener they influence your thought pattern, thinking pattern, the opposite sex influence your thought pattern most in this period. So you did have a choice in how much hormone should come and what hormone should come. So by the age of 18, your basic a structure as human being with us a body my body and basic structure as a mind complex is formed then you learn some skills <coughs> right 
medical and all those things skills you learn at the age of 25 your nervous system fo stops forming more neuron connections then it will be more of little bit deterioration only right beyond the age of 25 what they call neuroplasticity after the age of 25 it just starts little bit deteriorating so learning more and newer skill set uh, becomes later part of time become difficult it's not that human being can't learn but it becomes compared to a child it becomes much more complex so knowing all these facts and knowing libet's experiment how much choice you are <laughs> <laughs> ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರು ಜನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ತರ್ಕ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಸೀ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡೂವರ್ ಹರಿದೇವ ಕರ್ತ ನಾಮ ಕರ್ತ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂತ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅದೇ ಬಿಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ಮೀ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ನಿಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಯಾವುದು ಐ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಮೀ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ 90% ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ 90% ಇಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂರೋನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟಿನ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ you can there is a what you call as nurture versus nature mm. right this nurture versus nature so nature plays a significant role in your life which forms your basic structure okay significant means for most of people it's 100% they don't come out of the nature's programming 100% okay you understand what i'm saying for most of people but still there is some little bit scope for free will yes. small scope small choice not very significant okay this the choice which you have is more of a vetoing choice rather than choosing <laughs> you understand the difference between vetoing and choosing vetoing is let's say somebody gets a criminal thought let me go and murder that person the choice of it is not to do that curb my tendencies <laughs> curb my animalistic tendencies the choice of overcoming that now the more you exercise that choice i don't know why you exercise that choice why somebody exercises the choice the more he becomes more and more a world person he comes freedom from this programming now most of the people they don't even exercise this choice and they live in a programmed environment they die in a programmed environment okay they don't you <coughs> they exercise the choice okay its choice is exercised for matters of external world right i like this i don't like this yeah. but that's not a choice they, they it is already made even yeah. that is also predetermined that's also made yeah. right so most of the people don't even come out of this programming at all they die in this programming they live again take birth in the programming they die in the programming so this continues forever now the spirituality means you have a ability to come out of this programming very small very small opportunity okay how that how how big is the window of opportunity we don't know it be 0.1% 0.2% or maybe less than that <laughs> so now if that 0.1% can become larger you have a choice not on your thought patterns not on your body and mind complex not only your nervous system you have a choice to be associated with the prakriti nature or you have to be choice to be associated with the consciousness you can be part of the consciousness or you can be part of the prakriti if you are a part of consciousness none of this matters to you you are in a different domain if you are a part of prakriti you are still in the loop do you understand what i'm saying 
you got what i'm saying or not see you you can be you can develop awareness and part of the awareness then what happen this most of this tendency which come you just don't you ignore them because it doesn't matter to you you don't heed to that you don't give action you do it all. okay you live as a part of awareness that's what is called spiritual evolution a spiritual liberation jivan mukti and then negative 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 ஒரு <laughs> Bhagavan's grace is not none of your uh, choice. <laughs> that thought to use that has also come into you. <laughs> That's why everything happens in spiritual life is called grace. In re, meera meena, manjula eera bada dhichin wadhi re. Sadhana huh. is a way to towards developing that grace. Why somebody got an idea to do sadhana? That also a thought came yes. to you, no? Did you choose that? And thought came to you because of the grace, Bhagavan. Consciousness. What is the meaning of grace? <laughs> grace is something, okay, which came to you as a gift from the universe. you did not think exists okay you have no idea no clue that it exists you know have no clue that what to ask for <laughs> you can ask for something which you know <laughs> but did you know that you have something ability to ask for freedom liberation <laughs> did you know that you are living a program life to ask to come out of programming programming you have to know that you are living in a program life did you know that you are living in a program life you think you are an independent living you are doing something you are achieving something you are successful all those things you are thinking so how do you think that i can come out of this kana madam ad haak pedi ik sarpa pedi beda beda idu bala noise bartu idu le ha fan me kanta ho in recording it disturb agutho oh that's right for few minutes when they say guru graces ha huh. like suppose you grace us can you fasten the process for us i am i am actually changing your mental attitude you no know? so just before just before what was your thinking ha huh? now is your is your complete perspective has changed if it's not changed we'll give some more dosage <laughs> ஒரு <laughs> 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 you know it's not the grace just comes to you it was your karma sadhana whatever it was from past made it come it's not like one got lucky to be graced or not correct correct so if that was the case then somebody else can still enhance my irrespective of whatever my past karma no no i say that this is actually what you call causality right mm-hmm. anything which happens to you today is because something happened earlier okay is that yeah right nothing can happen something out of uh what you call cause and effect relationship yeah, that's what i was asking can it be possible if the guru graced the ha huh. so <laughs> 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 see the co- co- whether the cause and effect chain can be broken hmm. okay isn't it yeah 
Now your cause and effect chain is based on what? Thinking. It's an object oriented thinking. Okay. You say I did this, it happened. I did this, it happened. Right? It's all horizontal. The movement is horizontal. You understand? Something happened here last year, this happened this year, this happened, it's cause and effect. Correct? Mm -hmm. So your thinking is based on the cause and effect. You cannot think non cause and non effect, you cannot think. Alright? You understand what I am saying? Mm -hmm. Which is out of the cause and effect domain, you cannot think. No. Correct? I didn't even think it was existing. You, you <laughs> cannot think it exists. <laughs> 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 so, it is actually there is a horizontal line. You are thinking the horizontal line. But there is a vertical line. At any point of time, there is a vertical line. Right? You have seen this Jesus Christ cross, no? Okay? Really, the cross means there is a horizontal movement and there is a vertical movement. Okay? The vertical movement is at any point of time you can jump out of this horizontal movement up and down. But you don't think of that because you are already tuned to program to think in a linear way. Correct? So grace flows from the vertical, it doesn't flow from the horizontal. And you came because of some grace which was fed to you at some point of time, not because of your horizontal movement, because of the vertical movement. So how did the vertical movement come? It is always there. <laughs> nothing to do with uh, our karmas or anything. Uh, it is like the sun, no? Sun is always there. It is giving light. Okay? Sun is always giving light. Surya always bada uh, kurtana, sun. Correct? So what do you do with the sunlight? Some plant grows and becomes, uh, gives a mango. Some plant gives and gives a coconut. Some plant gives and a 